Hey, three and one. Welcome to Midweek, and this week we begin a new series, which I'm really kind of excited about. It is going to be called The Standard Catechism, or Christianity 101, according to the 1922 United Me- or Methodist the uh, Catechism. What really interests me on this is because I think folks have reached the point, and, and I get that God is more depressed than impressed with our denominations, but folks think because if they go to a church and they hear the same music, then they must believe the same things. And that's just not necessarily true. And there are places that maybe if you knew what the beliefs really were, you might change your mind. And I just think it's really important that we know what we believe. You don't have to become a student of theology, but, you know, if, if you're a woman who wants to preach and you're in a denomination that doesn't believe in that, then maybe you need to reconsider would be just one example. But tonight, we are going to start in this little blue book, the Standard Catechism book, and we're going to start at the beginning, for as the sound of music says, it's a very good place to start. And uh, we're going to open with, on for uh, today, this whole idea of what do you believe? And I'm going to give you what the, you know, what the Methodist Catechism said in 1922, which not only had to be learned, but it had to be learned. It, you had to stand a proficiency, and you had to attest that that is what you would believe. Clergy would do this as well as laity would do this. So it opens up with the very first question in this catechism, what is Christianity? That's the very first one. And then it gives you a written definition. I'm going to read the definition, not because I don't have one, but I want you to hear this would have been the learned catechism. And if you are an Orthodox Christian, this is what you believe. Christianity is the religion of God's redeeming love manifested in the incarnate life, the atoning death, and the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ, the founder of the kingdom of God. Now, some of those words in there are going to get you. You're wondering what incarnate is. You're wondering what those, what those things mean. Trust me, it comes up each and every week if you stay with me. We're going to cover those, but I don't want to be here for 20 minutes. I want you to get your normal 8 to 10 minutes and feel that. So Christianity is a religion. Yes, it is a religion. Being Christian is not a religion, but Christianity defined as a religion of God's redeeming love. Did you hear hear that, folks? It wasn't about God's punishment. It's about God's redeeming love, and it's manifested in the incarnate life the atoning death, and the glorious resurrection of Jesus Christ, the founder of the kingdom of God. How do we know that? Did we just make it up? Did the Methodist church just say this is what we're going to believe? No. Everything is supported in in the Bible. The Gospel of John in chapter 1 and verse 14, the word became human. It became flesh. It became incarnate and made his home among us. The word is Christ the Messiah. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness, and we have seen his glory and the glory of the Father's only Son. Then there's John um, 3, verse 14 to uh, to, uh, 15 that supports this. And it says, and Moses lifted up a bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man may be lifted up so that everyone who believes him in will have eternal life. And then in Romans chapter 5 and verse 8, but God showed his great love, going back to that definition, for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were sinners. And then finally in Acts 2 verse 32, God raised Jesus from the dead. We are all witnesses of this. You see, each of those scriptures supports 
how we came up with the definition of what a Christian is. This is what we will do, each and every one, try to give you a little bit at a time so you get this. And then what I'm really hope, hoping is at some point you will challenge yourself and others about what you really believe because we are to believe that we are Christian and that we are Christian because of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus the Christ. And that is our gift of grace, which comes through the redeeming love of God. Hope to see you the next time, each and every week now for the next several weeks. Christianity 101, tell a friend, ask some questions, argue about it, send me a message. See you in person or online at 3 and one Thanks for dropping by.